What's up, YouTube? Um, this is gonna be a video about how to install subs and an amplifier to your Celica. And it really just applies for about any car. Really, it's about the same thing. So, if you have your stereo, I made a video on how to do a stereo. So, if you go back on my channel, then you will find that pretty simple. It just takes a while. Um, it's been a while actually since I posted a video, but I'm kind of excited to post one again. Um, so you're gonna need obviously your amplifier, which I might have put back here. You're gonna need that. Mine says, um, I believe it's 1500 amp, something like that. Anyway, you're gonna need your amplifier your sub or subs i went with two 12 inch subs i put them behind my back seats of course i need to get that and then um you're gonna need to get this wiring kit i got this at walmart it includes the rc uh cables it includes the uh ground the ground cable oh it's actually this one that's the ground cable um this which is the power that goes all the way to the battery as you can see and then it includes this little wire it can be a little confusing because everything is blue so and i'll explain why i did this in a bit and then i had to find these wires for Hooking them up to the subs back there. But anyway, you're gonna need that kit. I believe it's a 1500, 2000, and 2500 amp kits that they sell at Walmart. And I got this one because it was the cheapest one and it works. It was like 25 bucks. Anyway, you're gonna need those. Obviously, I put them back there. Initially, I put them back here, but it didn't look that great. It sounded pretty good, but not that great. Um, so I decided to go just put them back there. I took off that little box that's usually here on the silica. And then it fix, fits pretty good back here with the cover right there and stuff. Also, what I had to do with this is... I got this box laying around at the house, which had some old subs. I mean, these are old too, but um, they looked better in my opinion. I wanted red and the other ones were just plain black and they, I don't know. Anyways, they're Sony's. If you want to inst install new ones on your box or whatever, you just unscrew the screws and then screw them back in and just with a... Uh, the drill and you should be good to go um you can e either do this setup or do a, a single sub with just one box that works too it gives you more space in the back i don't really need it just for groceries sometimes but there's that so to install it you're gonna need to obviously have all these things ready but let me show you real quick. You're gonna need to find a way to run these cables through somewhere. Mine isn't the best. I know you might be able to do it through there, down there somewhere, but I got kind of lazy and it doesn't really bother me. It just goes through here, through the fender. So you're gonna need to know where you're gonna put your wires. Um, let me just go through what each wire is real quick because these can be confusing. So you got your amplifier. These are your RC cables which connect to the back of this area. You know the the red and white uh, cables and whatever. I believe that's the white one and that's the red one. So you're going to take these cables, find a way through, run them through somewhere. I run them. I did them through here, through the center console. It's not the greatest wire tucking, but 
goes on the back of your stereo. So you're gonna take, you're gonna need to take that out and plug them in back there. Also, let's see, this over here is, it says a remote, which that is your yellow wire, I believe, on your stereo, which is the one that turns off the amp when you turn off your stereo. And then the 12 volt is your power one, which is your red wire over there on your stereo. Usually your red wire, but you'd have to make sure. Um, but yeah, remote, you turn it. When you turn off your stereo, this turns off. And then 12 volt is just the power. But this 12 volt goes all the way to the battery, actually. So. And then you're going to have a little one and that big one. This little one is the one that goes to. It's supposed to go to your actual stereo. So you're supposed to splice up the the wires and connect connect them together. In my case, my red wire for some reason wasn't working. So we had to do some stuff over there on the stereo. So that couldn't work for me. So I just grabbed this little on and off switch that does that when it's on and then turns it off. So you can do that too. You just do the same thing, but you just connect them there. If you're, for some reason, your 12 volt isn't working, you're gonna need your little fuse. Mine is a 20 amp. Just put it in there. Your ground. And by the way, to put these in there, it's really easy. You just, it comes with these little connections. You just um, put some tape over them and then unscrew this with a flathead and just put them in there. It's as simple as that. Um, let's see, your ground is, for me, I put it back here just with the drill. It comes with the little screws and everything, your kit is just supposed to be to a metal piece. It held up pretty well so far. And then this one goes back there where it says uh, ground, I believe. Yeah, it says ground. Okay. So you got that. And then like I said, your there's gonna be your two wires connected to the 12 volt, which is this thick one. And they're all gonna be labeled on your kit. So you'll know this thick one and then that little one that goes to the stereo, back of the stereo. Um, so this thick one goes all the way to your battery. You can find different ways to tuck them. I just did it this way. Um, so I just ran it all the way through from back there to the battery, which I'll show you guys right now. Pretty cool. Anyway, so I ran it all the way from back there through the fender right here, through there, and then you're gonna need this obviously, which is your little fuse. That you connect by taking this off. There, there's gonna be like an an Allen key. You're gonna have to cut the wire by the way so this is just one complete wire and then you could run it straight through but if there's a short somewhere you might burn your car so this is kind of like for safety so you're gonna undo the caps and you can see right there that little allen key type of thing take that off you splice the wires and then you put them in there and then put everything back together and then that's basically it. I put it right here. I don't know why I put a zip tie on it, but it's been pretty good. It doesn't hit anything. It doesn't get in the way of anything, so. And then it's going through back there. And then, right there, my battery. And I believe most sell the batteries or something like this. But you just connect it to your positive side on your ba battery. I just put it right here, 
been working pretty good. That's basically it. Mm. Oh. On the back of the subs, actually. Ben is showing you guys. It's very easy, though. Um, you're just gonna run two positive and negative wires. Mine weren't included with the kit, but you will need to have those. A positive and negative. So, you see that? That's obviously the positive and negative. Same, same thing on the other side. Can't really see it. They're in there. So, you can either buy them at the store or get them yourself from your house. Maybe if you have some laying around. That's what these wear. So, just gonna run these to the amplifier. I don't know if I showed you guys, but show you guys right now so those both of those go over here i ran them through the back seats kind of all the way back there so okay so right here it says positive right there negative for one i mean actually for the right one and then for the left one this is the negative and that's the positive Pretty easy, you just unscrew them with the flathead and I'll just run them all the way back to your subs. And that's basically it. Um, I don't know if I was clear with the wires over here. I'll just go over it again. So this is your RC wires for, I'm not really sure what they're for, but they go on the back of your stereo. This is the white one and that's the red one. And then your 12 volt, is this one that's supposed to to go to your um, to your red cable for the power in your stereo, and then the remote? That's what it says on the amplifier. This is for when you turn off your car. Uh, I mean your, well yeah your car, your amplifier and your sub is gonna turn off with it. So that's basically it, and I believe that's your yellow wire, by the way but that's it pretty simple could i got it done in like about three hours or something like that since i've never done it before but yeah just make sure everything is connected good we should be good to go these are gonna be kind of squished a little bit i don't mind it some people do but yeah. anyways that's basically it um i will be posting pretty soon about the trd body kit that i got i know this one guy has been asking for it and i appreciate the support not gonna lie um i just been busy with life um just buying and selling cars with my job and you know just trying to try to make something out of this life you know <laughs> um but yeah that's basically it i made a video on how to put in an aftermarket stereo on your celica and it works for pretty much any car you just gotta know what wires are what and that's it pretty much um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys get to do this on your Celica if you're interested in that. Because it sounds really good. I can't show right now because, um, my phone doesn't let me with my camera. So, there's that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and keep an eye out for the TRD body kit that I'm going to need to paint and put on there. It's the whole thing, big wing, but it's great. Anyways, thank you guys for watching.